Okay, folks, so today we're going to program a repeater manually into the Baofan UV5R. Uh, as I said in other videos, this is the UV5R+, Plus, just a difference in cosmetics, uh, functions exactly the same as UV5R. So we turn on the radio, and the first thing we're going to do is input the frequency, um, the receive side frequency. So if you already have, um, you for, so for this tutorial, you're already going to need the uh, frequency information and um, repeater offset and uh, any any type of uh, CT, CSS tones or anything like that. So <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and put those in. Um, so first thing we do is input the frequency. Uh, for this repeater, it's going to be uh, 146, 730. Okay. And then we're going to go into the menu. And we're going to select option number 13. Okay. And here's where we enter our um, <clears throat> uh, our tone uh, to access the repeater. So this is the transmit tone. The repeater that I have uh, that I'm programming in requires this tone in order to get access. So as you can see, you can toggle through these by pushing the um, up and down arrows. And we enter the tone. In this case, it's 88.5 hertz. And we push menu to confirm that. Make sure you do that. And hit exit. Okay. And then we're going to go to option number 26 which is the offset. So for this case, um, since it's in the VHF range using a standard offset, it's gonna be uh, 600 kilohertz, as you can see there. So uh, you can, uh, you can't really change this. Oops, can't change this. Uh, you can change it by uh, adding something in here like that. So you have a, say if we wanna do a 500 or sorry, 500 kilohertz offset. We could do it like this, right? And then confirm it, <clears throat> uh, but that's not what we want. We want 600. So we're gonna go ahead and add that, zero, six, zero, zero. Okay, all right, so that's the offset we want. And then we're gonna go to option number 25 right next door. And that gives us our shift direction, um, which is the <clears throat> direction that the repeater, uh, the transmit side is gonna be on for the receiver. So this is a negative offset. Uh, so it's going to be at a lower frequency than the transmit side is going to be at a lower frequency than the receive side. Uh, and again, to change this, you can move the arrows up and down. Okay, so we have one and negative. We confirm that. And uh, then we're good to go. So we come back here. We can see the negative uh, sign right there lit, saying that it's going to use a negative offset when you go ahead and key up the mic. Uh, but to make sure that we are indeed using it, uh, we can hit the scan key momentarily and it'll show us, we see the, the R comes up, it'll show us the transmit side frequency and it'll show us the uh, that the uh, the tone has been programmed in as well. Okay, uh, the CT. All right, so at this point we're all set. Um, we can go ahead and key it up and see if we can uh, hear anything from the repeater. So there we go, I got a little bit of tail from the repeater so we know we're hitting it. Um, and just so everyone knows too, I signed on before this to let, uh, let everyone know we'd be testing. So now we have this frequency put in. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and save it in uh, our uh, in our memory bank so we can recall it from memory. Uh, to do that, we're gonna go to option number 27 and that's the mem channel. We're gonna go in here and I've already checked in the uh, uh, channel number 20, 126 in the memory bank is, uh, is available. So go ahead and hit that. And now it should be saved in channel number 126. Uh, we can go over to, uh, and here it is right there. We go over to VFO, and it's already there, saved in 126. Um, I did that because I have NOAA right there, <clears throat> weather at 127, which is the highest channel number. Um, so unfortunately, you can't, so now we're all set. We're in, we can be in, uh, we switched over to uh, memory mode versus uh, uh, VFO mode. Um, so we can go over here into memory mode and uh, go through any channels that we have. Uh, we can also scan from here. Um, but unfortunately, if you notice, I have the two meter call uh, frequency programmed here in memory mode uh, on the B side. And uh, the way I got the name in there, so you can't actually program a name uh, for your frequencies manually. You need the, the programming software. So that's how I got the two meter call in there. And the same thing for uh, NOAA, right? You can see NOAA is always transmitting. <clears throat> um, Okay, so, but what we can do, one last thing I wanna show you is we can uh, change it to show the, 
memory channel itself. So we can change this instead of showing the frequency, we can have it show channel 126. And the way we do that is we go to uh, menu and then we go to option 21. And this is, uh, and actually 22 is the other one. So this will change the uh, name or frequency or the display of that given A or B uh, side of that we're watching. So if I change this one to go to channel, okay, so I'll confirm that and I'll actually go up and change the B side to show me the um, frequency, okay? So if I do that and I exit, now we see channel 126 is the same repeater I had in before, okay? And I see, um, yeah, you just make sure that that isn't programmed in. Yep. So I see channel 126, again, kind of useless because you see 126 right up here. But you can also see the two meter calling freak right here. So you can see that that changed as well. Uh, if we go down here, if we go to channel 126, it'll show us the frequency again, the repeater's um, received side frequency. Um, so that control, oops, that control, the MDF uh, B and MDF A, really controls what you view uh, on the display. So if, uh, in another video, I'll show you how to program these in, in Chirp and <clears throat> give the um, give the memories actual name, give the channels an actual name, uh, custom name. Okay, uh, that's all I got for you. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, put them in the comment section below. I'll leave some links in the description uh, for the radios and also uh, where I got repeater info. You can go to radioreference.com. There's a bunch of different places. Check out your local ham radio um, you know, Facebook group or whatever, or your local ham club, uh, and you should be able to get uh, the local repeater information. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.